before the sun rose on Invaders Bay, scores of people had gathered with the hope of scoring a $1 phone or laptop. But before the 10 a.m. launch of the Star Network took flight, it was cancelled, as according to marketing manager of the company, Karen LaPay. Right now, we're overwhelmed. Indeed, hundreds had to be turned away, and hundreds more came, just as quickly, to little information. LaPay was whisked away to a meeting as CNC3 News was informed the space rented by Star had been listed for a simple meeting, rather than a launch inviting droves of people to register. With no officials present, members of the public who had not seen LaPay's media post were left in the dark, waiting in vain. Disappointing would be an understatement for lack of a better way of seeing it, because number one, it was this big launch where they invited as many people as possible. Indeed, the public would mainly get information from other members of the public who saw the social media post, members of the media awaiting a press conference, or this security guard who did not want the gathering public to be left in limbo on the compound. Despite the hiccup, some of the people present say they were willing to give Star another shot. I'm willing to come back. I'm willing to come back because I'm product with B-Mobile and both digital. But by 11 a.m. it was clear that no registration would take place and most who gathered and those who would come thereafter would be turned away swiftly. In the aftermath of the cancellation of the Blue Mobile Network's launch, the more pertinent question became exactly who is Star Network? Indeed, TSCT issued a letter to TAT asking that very question, trying to find out if indeed they had got permission to operate in Trinidad and Tobago, while TAT officials themselves visited the company to find out more information about the up-and-coming mobile network. The Star Network is hoping to have another public registration early next week. Peter Christopher, CNC3 News.